my question is for Nancy Dupre. I'm very curious to know, and, and you talk about young people wanting to leave Afghanistan today, but for decades, uh, people have wanted to leave Afghanistan, including all of the foreigners who went there to help. What is it that made you, one small person, think <laughs> that you could or should remain there and that you, Nancy Dupre, could make a difference? Well, uh, yeah. I, um, I came, well, I tell you, one of the things was I fell in love with somebody who, who was an archaeologist, and he said that he wanted to know about Afghanistan from the first cell up, from the prehistoric, he was a prehistoric archaeologist, and he was engaged with Afghans. We're out all the time, and then I was writing guidebooks where I had to go around and, and verify because I wouldn't write of anything that I hadn't seen. The two of us, we worked together selling Afghanistan, actually, and it was, it was exhilarating. And at that time, in the 60s and in the 70s, the people who were giving Fulbright scholarships to Afghans, they were delighted. They loved the Afghans because the Pakistanis, the Iranians, they never wanted to go back. They, they were such a bother, always asking for their, their term to be extended and wheeling and dealing, disappearing and all. And they were a terrible nuisance. But they loved the Afghans because Afghans loved their home and they wanted to go home. And I just find it very sad now that this sense of belonging, of wanting to be there, of wanting to be part of it, has changed so dramatically. And, and that's why I, there's a saying, you know, there's a terrible virus in Afghanistan, and once it hits you, you can't leave it. It won't leave you alone. And I've got the virus, but I'm now approaching a venerable age where I should be smart enough to retire, but I don't know, it's still, ha it's still catching me. Uh, but I have, I've moved back, I'm no longer the director of ACKU. I have a very fine Afghan who was hesitant in the beginning, but now he's, he's, he's seems to enjoy taking decisions. I'm there for consultation. But um, he's now being recognized internationally. He's being invited to international conferences. This is the kind of sustainability that I am trying to find. Because my father told me, he was in the, the, the rural development business, he told me many times, if you hang on too long, you're a failure because you haven't passed on your vision. And my dear husband, at one point, he said, you talk about your father all the time, and you love him, but I don't believe half of what you say. <laughs> so, this was, this was Lou, typical Louis Dupree. We got in our Land Rover in Kabul, and we drove all the way down to the tip of India. Had a wonderful time. And I had left that center when I was about 10 or 12. It was a series of little cabins with thatch roofs. Here we were, walking there, and all these little, little cottages were now multi-story buildings. But the center was still under succession of people that my father had put in there. They had the vision, and they weren't let it, let it go. The Indians tried to na nationalize them. They wouldn't have any rent. So <laughs> Louis said, well, all right, now I believe. But uh, it, it convinced me 
not to think that I'm essential to the sustainability in the future of ACKU. But I really want, sustainability is a middle name, I want that place to survive. And I, I have seen too many clinics and schools built on the, on the landscape, but they don't belong to the people. So when the builders go away, the thing collapses. And I don't want that to happen to my center. And I'm trying vigorously to, to work with the young. It's, it's a pleasure to work with these people. They're, they're bright-eyed and they catch on to things. As I said before, you introduce something, if they think it's useful, they'll grab it. So um, we're trying to make research exciting. No, you said it was a bore, but, but no, they get the idea that you cannot develop a strategy out of thin air. Huh? And, and it's a knee jerk without any basis, and so it doesn't work. It's just temporary, and it falls apart. So I'm trying to, to, to introduce the idea of sustainability, introduce the idea to the Afghans. I mean, they have such a fabulous history. The Afghan history compared to American history, I mean, we don't, we don't come anywhere near the excitement. And, uh, and I, I want them to get excited about their past. I work very closely with, with, with the museum, which is a visual manifestation of history. But nobody in the old days ever thought of going there. And it was badly looted. So of course, when it got looted and everybody got interested in it, they're stealing from us our culture. But what is our culture? I, and I think the more they learn about their culture, the more they'll want to stay there. I hope. 